Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. We have made it all the way back to the top of the forest tape. And looming just behind us is the Forbidden Woods. So you're going to go ahead and do... We were over here before. That's where we got the treasure chart. And if you come up here, this is the way that you're going to need to get into the Forbidden Woods. So when you launch a magic power, make sure your magic bar is full. If you like having a full magic bar, consider liking the video, commenting, and subscribing. Olivio is over there. You're probably going to want to blow the wind in this direction. I wonder what that sort of a hint could be. Oh my gosh. Go ahead and pull out your wind waker. You're going to need to do this anyway. And kick yourself... Some wind to the southeast. Oh! Or south... <laughs> no, not the southeast. That is not the direction I wanted to go. I got excited. That's the way that it was before. A great start. Okay. I think it's the southwest. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. All right. <gasps> Make sure you have your Deku leaf. Avoid the cyclone. I move my body like a cyclone. And you should be able to land with just enough height to see our boy Olivio over here. What's up, bud? Maybe he's Italian. We master the Deku Leaf. So there you go, is another hint. Make sure you replenish your magics. So you're gonna need that. And in this case, we actually do want to Navigate into the cyclone. First things first, go ahead and chop down the bushes. Don't let them become present. And we will move the wind, of course. We're going to do this one more time. I don't know if you need to do this, but uh, southwest is the northeast. No, that's the way that we... <laughs> Apparently I don't know my directions. Uh, what direction am I facing right now? This is complicated. So if that's northeast, and we don't want that... Actually, I wonder if you can just go for it. Unless the wind's gonna, like, blow me off course. Let's find out. Oh, come back! <laughs> oh no, what have we done? I'm gonna need that draft just to come back enough so that way I can blow myself back up on the platform with Olivio. Oh boy. Okay, good start. Thankfully though, if you do goof like I just did, like a fool, put you right back up top here. Yeah, you gotta really get some, uh, some distance with that. I wonder what happens if you get up here and you chop all the things and I mean, I, I do have a magic potion, which I will not use, but... It's supposed to be doing a dungeon today. <laughs> so much for that. Uh, this... This way? Ah, viewers, we're learning. Now that the wind is at our backs, we're going to do a preemptive jump here. Steer into the updraft. And as you can see, greeting us along the way are some pea hats. We're gonna just sneak. Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> oh, we're doing great. Normally, I'd cut this stuff out, but I think that uh, for some of you, watching me fail is funny. So I'll keep it in, I suppose. Just to be safe. Yeah, we had it going northwest. And we'll wait for the Oh boy. It's gonna it's gotta bring itself around town. Hey Olivia, how's it going, bud? Do you have anything else to say? Oh, it's perfect. K 
Can you? Oh, yeah, you probably can. There's a lot of things you can do in this game that I probably should be doing that I'm not because I'm stupid. All right, hopefully we can get in there. That looks pretty, pretty choice. Nice. Did I get enough height? I don't know if I did. It's gonna be close. Game, come on. <laughs> oh, game. Ugh. Well, this is just cutting into... This is just cutting into dungeon time. That's all this is doing. You're cutting into your dungeon time. And the wind is still heading west, which is nice. Yeah, I guess I probably should have clipped into that... Cyclone a little bit sooner? Or later? I don't know. One of those two has to be correct. Come on now. Add a baby. Maybe stay in it longer? Or something? Come on. Are you kidding me? All right. That is absolutely bogus, but at least it lets you reset every time. We will get there today, viewers, I promise. We will be entering the Forbidden Woods at some point today. Oh, and the wind doesn't stay with me. Oh, yes, it does. I see it. This is very unfortunate that I am uh, very bad at this game. Don't worry. Good things come to those who wait, I think. Yeah, this is pretty much just enough magic to get you there. If you do it correctly. There we go. That looks good. I'm gonna just... As I tried to joke about before... Sneak around these pea hats. I'm actually going to do it this time. There we go. Oh, viewers. How bad would that have been if I missed? Okay. Anyway... We made it! Finally, after almost seven minutes. Or a little more than seven minutes. Ooh. That looks pretty gooey. Ooh! Speaking of goo, it's our boys to choose. Get your jelly. I don't know. I'm assuming that the, the green shoes will eventually turn into... Um, Probably some form of a magic potion. Because, I mean, we've got the... Well, I don't know. Maybe not. It was the... It was the Boko Babas. The seeds. There's a lot of you guys in here. So much goo. It was the Boko Babas that turned into the... Magic slash life potion, the blue potion. So maybe that's not what green shoes do. But part of me just has a feeling I'm going to need a bunch of these. With the way that this game operates. Oh, nice. I got about as many as I would have had I just killed all of them regularly. So, one of the things in this dungeon that you're going to need to do... will not do that. Whoop. Come on. <laughs> I am making a mockery of myself today. You gotta wait till it's open, obviously. I don't think you can throw it from there. Maybe throw it back here. There you go. The game's a little, a little shy, a little pee shy. And when you bust down those those petals, I think that's what they are. Um, you will net yourself. An opening to the door. I don't know. My brain just completely froze for a second. Not even autopilot. Even worse. What is this? Oh! What did we find at the beginning of the dungeon dungeon? It is a map. Oh, great. It's the map. Well, you gotta start somewhere. Okay. I don't think that there's anything for us to do here yet. But those little dangly bits. I wonder if those could be chopped down later, perhaps? There's a warp pot, by the way. Okay. So... 
For those of you into tentacles, here you go. We don't have anywhere that we can go yet. At least not up here. There is a... The one Boko Baba seed bulb thing. I did not calibrate where I wanted this to go yet, so let's try that again. There's a one over here. Ooh. Circle back, circle back, circle back. The closest one is actually here. So one thing I don't like about this dungeon. One thing I don't like so far. <laughs> Maybe I should say that. Oh no. Let's land right back on it. Come on. This is why the, the Deku Leaf is one of the best items for me in this game, because I'm first off wasting my magic. No, but it's one of the best items for me in this game because it allows me to reset my tomfoolery. There we go. And as you can see, there's a path forward here. I have really no clue how much I'm going to be able to accomplish. Oh, more chews, great! Grab their jellies. I wish I would stun them, that'd be nice. Realistically, I just want to get rid of them. Ooh, excuse you. I'm trying to make progress. There we go. Refill that magix, and here we go. Our first experience with bombs. Inside the dungeon, at least. These are bomb flowers, of course. Boop, got them. Okay. So far, so good, I guess. What I should be saying is so far, so good enough. All right. For those of you that have played Twilight Princess, you might recognize this mechanic with these little fans that you can blow with your Deku Leaf. And in doing so, should be what provides you with motion. One takes you up, one takes you down, and there you go. I don't think there's anything in this room of note yet, but there will be, I think. Here we go, it's P hats, the ones that were outside. They give you the gold feathers as their drop. I don't know what this, I almost said Pacific. I don't know what the Pacific drop is. You do have to wait till they stop moving though. That's kind of a trope. I think that's been probably since, who I'd say, like Zelda 1. Viewers, do you think the guys who made Zelda, or ladies, whoever was involved, I don't know. Do you think the people who made the original Zelda had any idea that they were gonna be eventually someday tied to the franchise like this? That's gotta be kind of a cool feeling, I would assume. Or an uncool feeling if you're full of envy and rage. Now hopefully they got to stick around for the project, although that would be a long time to be working on one franchise. I mean, I know some of them are still involved, like the OG guys. That is a long time to be doing one thing. Hopefully it's not the only thing they get to do. Because as much as Zelda obviously is ubiquitous with, you know, adventure games and Nintendo at this point in its life cycle, you would still wonder if the people making it, you know, that can't be the only thing. Like, you might love chocolate ice cream, but you don't only want to eat chocolate ice cream. And a blasphemous thing about me is I don't, I don't like chocolate ice cream. And double blasphemy, I can't really have it anyway because I am lactose intolerant, like a dummy. Did I take your feather yet? Actually, I think you have to use the Deku Leaf. I'm completely forgot about that. Yep. All right, so if we blow the... Get away from me. See you, bye. We blow the cart back our direction. I think three gusts ought to do it. That looks pretty good. Whoop. Yes, it seems to be the way to dispatch them. It causes them to lose their cool a little bit. 
And I think there is another gust platform over here. Did I hit it? I don't think so. Try again. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how that works. That doesn't seem like that should count. No, I did not say go backwards. Quit! I'm just like clipping the edge of it. Oh my gosh, stop. <laughs> this is a mess. I need you to back off, sir. There we go. What can go wrong will go wrong. Okay. And our... Can I just drop? Okay. Our ride has since left us. Your Uber awaits. Just kidding. It's it's gone. I don't know if I've ever had a had like a ride sharing service leave me before, but that would make me very sad. And boop. Yeah, make sure you just drop it. Don't throw it. There's so there's a chest down there. Do I care about that enough? I feel like I might go for that in a second. No. Stop it. Let me get this nut across first. Let me have my nut. Oh, and it break. Okay. Well, in that case, I suppose I might as well just come in here then. Is this a treasure chart or something like a rupee? Oh boy! That was worth uh, wasting 10 minutes. Yeah, we're not getting into the meat and potatoes of, uh, of this one today, unfortunately, with how inept I've been. That's really frustrating, though, that it it does set you back quite a ways. Oh, no. Get away from me. Oh, I was meant to attack him, but I guess this works in a secondary effect. I kind of want it to come over here. Yeah, yeah, boy. <laughs> come over here and mess with your boy. Did I get him? I'm just blowing my nuts. Come on. Why can't I hit you? Why can't I? I can't quit you. Oh, it's like stuck in there. Oh, the gust isn't hitting it. It's it's like underneath the, the platform. All right, well, you're stuck in there. So you stay stuck in there. And I'm just gonna say bye. All right, my platform awaits. Okay, this is going very poorly. Let's just do this quickly. Please make it. Oh, goodness. No! <laughs> oh, viewers. I'm the worst. I'm the worst Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker hd -er in history. It's a fact. Alright, so you gotta go quick. I'm gonna... Ignore this boy. I didn't realize that you, you were timed so quickly. I like, you really don't get a lot of time. Oh, I blew it. <laughs> oh, why is this so difficult? I hate it. I'm trying to do these let's plays in an uncut fashion because I think that it's 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 more beneficial that you can see all the follies that I'm making. But part of me is getting pretty uh. Pretty miffed. Let's put it. Let's put the nut on the back of it. Ooh. Seven times the charm, viewers. We did it. Oh boy. All right. I was gonna say. I imagine this is. I think this is where the game starts to get a little. A little tricky. Okay. I don't think the game wants me to have it. So you know what we're gonna have to do? When in doubt, when your nut is, su is surrounded by spiky tentacles, just blow it. I guarantee when I first played this game eons ago, that probably had me stumped for too long to the point of I'm sure there are those moments where you're just like willing to quit what you're doing. You're like, ah, I don't want to play this anymore. This game has made me mad. Ooh, that looks suspicious, doesn't it? Can't imagine what's going to happen down there. I don't see any of the any of the nuts that we can throw down there. And it also looks like that's like a it's like a triple 
triple spot. But here you go, the game compounding your items, which is nice. Don't forget to use your grappling hook. Swing yourself around town. Everything in here is kind of alive, too. These weird tongue platforms are making me a little uneasy. I don't like it. Don't care for it. There we go. So we're going to need this nut. Can I just jump to this? Free money! Yay! Not really in need of money, but, you know, when it presents itself, of course, take it. Okay. So we're going to need to do a little bit of platform in action here. We don't have a key yet. Thankfully, though, you do have just enough distance to go from the bottom side to the top like this. And that should raise me up. All right. I don't know what these go to. Oh, these things the these things really weird me out. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Classic, classic D Mike maneuver. What is this? Oh, okay. Oh, it's a beautiful flower. What could that possibly be? All right, but since we've broken this down. Whoa. We can continue on. Does this look suspicious? Boop. Okay. So these boys are pretty annoying. Um, they kind of remind me of the soot sprites from... Uh, what's that movie? Spirited Away. Wow. I don't know a ton about... Uh, Miyazaki movies or st Studio Ghibli Ghibli. I don't know a ton about it. But I have seen that movie. I know it exists. I used to watch them a lot back in the day, back in my youth. I have not in a while. Would if requested. They are certainly capable of giving me nightmares. Some of those movies are real creepy. Okay, so... This room has more of them tentacles, and it's a bit of a maze. So you just gotta kinda like slowly cut your way through. Finding the safe spots. You can't, these are invincible by the way, so I don't think anything you do will affect them. We do have bomb flowers. Whee! What's in here? Is it a goodie? Probably the compass, if I had to guess. Oh, yeah. I don't actually ever use these, at least not in the early dungeons, because they're so easy, even a baby. Okay, actually, you know what? Let's look at this. Oh, is that the boss? Boss on the second floor? Cool. Fourth floor has a lot of items in it. We're on the third floor. And the basement has a lot of items in it. Huh. I wonder if those are related in any way. Voice your opinions in the comments below. Okay. Uh, there's no real indicator on what's safe and what's not safe. Beyond just kind of feeling around. Oh, that almost hurt me. Can I go, can I sneak right past you? No. Wait. What if I go this way? Oh, this is getting very, very tight. Toy like a toy guy. I don't like this. Okay, we made it. Uh, poo, was I supposed to? Uh, was I supposed to grab the bomb and bring it over here? I feel like I was. Okay, cool. Can I fly over this? I wonder how high up that goes. No, I, I wanted to jump off and then fly. Okay. I don't know how close you can even get to the other side. 
We're doing great, viewers. I don't know if this... I need to stop running into things. I don't know if this is the intended method of doing this. Probably not. But I'm going to check just because... I'm a curious little kitten. I don't know how else you would break that without said bomb. I don't know how close you can get. Did I do it? Yeah, that was what you're supposed to do. <laughs> you know, it would have made sense to do it while I was over there. When in Rome, use your bomb flower. I was going to be real cocky and be like, oh yeah, I totally know the way back. I don't. Although I, I did kind of cut myself a bit of a... A bit. Just a little snack of a path. Okay, so that wasn't too painful, right? This has to be... Rippy? Oh, key. Okay. Well, there was the... There was the uh, the locked door in the other room. What? What? Why are you here? What is your purpose? Yeah, I don't. Hmm. I'm not a hundred percent sure what this is. Is it? Yeah, that... I don't know how I feel about this. Because you... I mean, I question my meaning in life all the time. So what is the meaning of these pots? Legalize it? Is that... Alright. Anyway. I think the whole point of that room was to just get that key. Cool, I guess. I mean, that wasn't a huge waste of time. Oh, get off. Huge waste of time or anything. And you can use your uh, your spin attack to get rid of those dust sprites, soot sprites, whatever they're called. That's not that's not actually what they're called at all, but I call them that. I don't play the name game. But we are getting a little bit close on time, so I think I'm gonna break up the dungeon here, and then we will continue on with more Forbidden Woods next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD, and I'll see you next time for more Forbidden Woods. Bye.